are you all right? I'm fine. Just leave me alone. If you say so. You're not all right. Shut up. It's none of your concern. You're wrong. How's that? Well, if you keep looking depressed, I'll start to get worried. What? <sighs> you worried? Yeah, that's right. Why? <sighs> Forget it. All right, I'll tell you everything. I had a family, but that all changed a few years ago. I had a daughter. If she was still alive, she'd be about four years younger than you. So you were married? I thought you only lived for your job. Of course I was married. And for the record, I've fallen in love many times. <sighs> Sorry. Go on. Seeing you makes me feel like I'm looking at my daughter. Are we really that alike? Yes. Like how you're kind of spunky, and you argue with everything I say. And yes, she was a handful as well. One day she went looking for a treasure that lies in the moon culvert. As you know, that place is dangerous. I told her not to go chasing rumors. As expected, she went missing. I abandoned my post to look for her. You went AWOL? That doesn't sound like you. That was the one and only time I ever did that. But it turned out to be useless. And my daughter never returned. Oh. When I heard you went to Kanakana Pier by yourself, I couldn't help thinking about my daughter. We chased you down as fast as we could, because I couldn't risk it happening again. Though with you being a spy of the Sacred Army, I have to keep an eye on you anyway. After Alpman's betrayal and the collapse of the Grand Bell, I guess none of that matters anymore. The reason I came after you this time was more because of my feelings for my daughter. Oh. <laughs> what? You're actually quite a concerned parent. I can't believe it. Why did I listen to her anyway? <laughs> I'm so relieved all of a sudden. I can't stop these tears. For the first time, I actually feel safe. Were you always afraid? <laughs> of course. I was always afraid of you. You're one scary dude. I see. I thought it would be best if I stayed here. Like this was my purpose in life. But I didn't do it for you. It was for Chester and the Sacred Army. That was more the reason for me to be afraid. I thought about leaving so many times. But you guys kept helping me. And after you found out what I had done, you let me stay. I thought I was starting to go crazy. I didn't think you thought things through so much. Jeez, don't say that like I'm stupid. But I am relieved. For the first time, I actually feel like I belong. <laughs> That's good. Leglius, thanks for being honest with me. I never thought I'd hear such a heartwarming conversation in a prison cell. Huh? Who's there? I'm glad to have you back, my dear maiden. 
This seat is only appropriate for someone like me. What are you planning to do with us? You sure are stubborn. Fine, I'll get straight to the point. You will be sacrificed for our new government. Ugh. What? It's a very important ritual. It's the only way to bring the citizens' hearts together as one. You better have a better explanation than that! Obeying the goddess will bring prosperity back to this world, while... Betraying her trust will only bring about its destruction. Uh, the words of Pope Jaza have been passed down the Imperial line all the way to me. It's true. We've obeyed her and continue to live for 700 years after the Great Tragedy. The Alfman regime, on the other hand, perished only after a few years. The prophecy is true. You were the symbol of the political betrayal against the goddess and will be publicly executed. You will be the foundation upon which we will make our appeal to the goddess. The people would never agree to this. No one wants to live in a world of spirits. No one wants this world to disappear. Sadly, this is the result that came from the will of the people. What? Lead Lady Cloche to the altar. Yes, sir. Lady Cloche? <sighs> Lady Cloche! Now, Lady Luca. Yes! Luckily for you, you have another choice. What? The song you downloaded before, Hibernation. I want you to sing it. What? But isn't that song just to silence the Infalpira? Why do you need it now? To silence the Infalpira? Ignorance is a sin, but that's how the world works. Chester! Yes, that is what I told you. It was the easiest way to get the Knights to agree. You... you tricked me. So what will you do? Will you sing it? Or... I... Rod? Why are you here? Huh. I couldn't find a ship and was caught by the Sacred Army. Damn. To get caught by Metaphalsians. What a shame. You aren't from around here? Hmm. Who knows? He is a resident of the Tower of Tyria. What the hell is that? Well, well, yeah. Isn't she a dark girl? With dark clothes and surely a dark plot. So you did find the hint. But you got caught. How could you allow a blunder like that? Oh, excuse me. At least I was not caught being an idiot like you. Oh, oh you seem to have grown an attitude. Luckily, I sort of expected something like this, so I was prepared. It's a good thing I kept something a secret. Something? <laughs> hmm. By the way, Jackley, have you completed your search for the heart of Gaia? After this whole mess is done with, I shall resume my search. I see you take your time. Unfortunately, I don't have that leisure. 
I'll do as I must. Why did you come from the Tower of Tyria? What is your mother Matrix plotting? Hey, stop with the chit-chat! Be quiet! What's happening with Lady Cloche and Luca? What's going on? Funny you should ask. I was on my way to tell you. The Holy Maiden will be publicly executed in Speech Square. What? It's a revival of the old days, when we respected our balance with the Goddess. As soon as the ritual is over, Lord Targana wishes to see you. Until then, just be patient. And no talking. Wait! I want to meet with Lord Targana right now! Damn it! Can't we do anything at a time like this? <laughs>